Hey cutie, you might be like me and walk around in VR chat alone. You might be in a situation where you have no friends. Or you might have friends but they aren't actually your friends and just choose to not hang around with you and leave you out of meetups and parties and talk about you behind your back and laugh at you and... Sorry, that one hit a little deep. Anyway, here are 10 ways you can make friends in VR chat. Number 10, Discord. Did you know VR chat has an official Discord server? Well, now you do. It's a great way to meet new people. A simple message can go a long way. Look, I'll even show you. I sent a simple message in the VR chat Discord, which led to a DM message, which led to a VR chat meetup. And look, I made a new friend. <clears throat> Just a friend, by the way. No friends with benefits here. It's so simple and so underrated. Try it out. Also, not to shamelessly brag, but I have my own Discord server too. So if you're ever alone, just hop in there and you'll meet so many people willing to make friends. We've got a really nice group. Talking about groups. Number nine, groups. VRChat recently launched a new update which included the feature of groups. If you're Patrick Starr and live under a rock and haven't heard of it before, let me quickly explain. It's an in-game feature where you can join communities which best represent you. For example, there's sexual groups, there's gaming groups, there's even YouTuber groups like my own. All you gotta do is join one through the settings. Once you're in, you can meet the other members who also have similar interests to you. And I know you're curious, the answer is no. No, I am not in a sexual group. But talking about sexual stuff, number eight, flirting. Everyone loves a good compliment and everyone loves a good flirt. Keyword, good. If you're gonna flirt, make sure it's good. Trust me, you won't make any friends if you flirt like this. Hey darling, wanna feel my virtual abs? They are rock solid, just like something else that turned rock solid after I looked at you. So if you can master the key to subtle flirting and compliment throwing, then you'll make friends as easy as that. So be honest with yourself and skip this tip if your flirting attempts make people want to throw up. Talking about honesty, you might have to lie. Look, sometimes you gotta lie in life. I mean, people do it all the time in real life. People lie about their height, their income, the size of their eggplant. Hey, get your head out of the gutter. I'm talking about my actual eggplant collection. It's not Nine inches and the ladies love it. Hey, once again, get your head out of the gutter. I'm talking about the old ladies in the gardening club. Anyway, VR chat is the same as real life. If the only interesting fact about you is that you have an eggplant collection, then just lie. Look, I know this is immoral, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I'll give you an example. Tell me who you would rather be friends with. Person A. Hey, nice to meet you. I do not season my eggs in the morning. Or person B. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm a pilot in real life and I travel to different countries. Countries. I'm actually in Japan right now. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be friends with a pilot who's in Japan right now rather than the guy who doesn't season his eggs. Talking about Japan, what else originated in Japan? Anime. Here's a very true fact that I totally didn't just pull out of my ass. 99% of VR chat users enjoy anime. And since me and you are friends now, I'll let you into a little secret. But keep this between us. I've never watched a single anime in my entire yeah. life. Unless Spongebob is classed as an anime, because if so, I guess I'm an anime fiend. Anyway, if I go into a world and tell people I don't watch anime... Hey guys, I don't like anime. I'm gonna have an angry mob of people holding pitchforks after me. So what's the solution you ask? Just pretend you like anime. Trust me, if you tell people you don't like anime, you'll never make a single friend in VR chat. So if you take anything away from this video, make sure you listen to this tip. Talking about listening, you need to be a good listener. You need to learn the skill of being a good listener. It's time to stop talking so much and let other people talk. It's basic human psychology. Everyone likes talking about themselves. If you want to make friends, just let other people talk. And be empathetic. Everyone in VR chat is going through something in the real world. A lot of people use VR as an escape. People want to be heard, so be that person and listen to them. They'll love you for it. Talking about love, I love you, so subscribe and like. But seriously, love. Don't fall in love with your friends. If you've played VR chat for even a single day, you'll realize that 90% of the drama hit stems from people falling in love with their friends. Just stop this. Seriously, it never ends well. Picture this. You meet a really cool person in VR chat. You spend hours together. You become besties. Then you decide to date. You're madly in love. And then she gives a random stranger a virtual lap dance. And boom, you're left heartbroken. And not only have you just lost your best friend, but you've probably lost your other friends too after she lies about you. And great, we're back to square one. So if this is you, and you know who you are, please stop dating your friends. You've been through this 30 times now. Talking about 30, stick to your own age. Now, I have no issue with being friends with different age groups. But from what I've seen, it usually never works out. There's usually something much deeper going on. Because why is a 30? 
30-year-old befriending a 9-year-old? That's major sus and screams red flags. If you want to make genuine friends, try and make friends with people around the same age as you. That way, you'll have something in common. For example, a 13-year-old would find poop jokes funny. An 18-year-old would find Twitter memes funny. A 30-year-old would not find anything funny because we're currently in an economic disaster with inflation rising and a recession booming and interest rates skyrocketing your mortgage payments. And if you have no idea what I just said, then maybe you need to stay away from the older people and stick with the children. Number two, a bonus point. Before I tell you what the number one best way to make friends in VRChat is, I wanted to add a bonus point. If you made it this far in the video, then either you really want to make friends or you're just enjoying my video. And if it's the last one, I love you, Kitty, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Anyway, I set up a Patreon and we're going to do several monthly meetups. A place where you can meet new friends, have fun, and be part of my future videos. The link's in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, so what is the number one best way to make friends in VRChat? Well, it's actually so simple, you'll be shocked that you've never thought of it before. Your appearance. Unfortunately, looks matter. If you want to make a good first impression and want people to be friends with you, then your avatar means a lot. It's an expression of who you are. Look, let me show you. Would you rather be friends with this normal looking attractive avatar? Or would you rather be friends with this not so good looking avatar? And yes, I agree with you. The ugly avatar man might have a much better personality. But this is the game of life. One avatar switch can make the difference between having one friend versus having multiple friends. If you need more help with this, and trust me, you're going to need help because this is a make or break. Check out this video where I explain what your VRChat avatar says about you. Trust me, it'll work wonders. I love you, Kitty.